Got a 1966 Chevrolet Nova Chevy 2 original AM radio and these are cool uh, this one here we've uh, completely redone the case repolished the front end and the push buttons uh, didn't get the knobs with it these are my knobs and uh, this one also had a built-in fader over here which the knob wasn't on it but the fader is bad so what we've done is we put the fader in this control so when you before I ship it I'm gonna call you and uh, discuss with that that with you I should have the other day what we're gonna do about this this is original knob that you do not have to have a fader control in behind it to hold it so anyhow we've done a full Aurora design conversion it now has a oh, AM and FM stereo auxiliary in automatic it's got four channels out 45 watts channel it's got pre outs across the back if you want to add an amp to your rear speakers uh, even a sub it's got that uh, full Bluetooth USB port it will scan your stations and it has voice ID Bluetooth voice command voice ID it's fully loaded Anyhow, we're going to show it to you. Right now, you're on FM. Now, we didn't put any LEDs in there. We want to keep this and look just like it's supposed to because it's such a pie on the dash. And you, nowadays, you don't really have to have it. Trouble and bass like you've always had. Got your presets working. You pull them out and preset your station. He said, we have told him. All right, first thing we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to put this, this radio in scan mode. That way, if you're going down the road, you ain't got to fumble with it while you're going, you let it find your station for you. It will do this on AM and FM. First thing we're going to do, take the tuning knob, turn it up twice. One, two. Scanning for stations. Room now it's going to start scanning stillage, for stations without the needle moving. I'm going to show you how to lock on that station, on even find it if you want to preset it. We're going to let it go a couple of stations. Got the original background light in it. So you like that station there, all you do is turn this once. Station hold. She'll hold it or it'll go quiet so you can find it. There it is. Pull out preset and you got it. I'm going to go to AM radio, just simply turn it off and right back on. America, takes you to AM. Of the off and right back on, takes you right back to FM stereo. Alright. Auxiliary in, which is automatic. All you do, you get a mail to mail cord. And this is your USB harness. Got USB, this will charge your phone and play a device. If you want to play it, plug it into here. So you can plug any device into it. Plug it in here, MP3, CD changers, XM radio, satellite radio, whatever you got. It's got a head. Plug it in, bring it up, and hit play. Good powerful radio now. Anytime you're on auxiliary end device, you'll go back to radio, just simply turn your device off. And if you don't touch the radio in 20 seconds, it'll automatically change back over by itself. Uh, if you want to shorten that 20 seconds, just turn it off and right back on. It Welcome. remembers. There's a message from the people revisiting. Right back on FM. That's exactly what they did. And we heard That's that how your auxiliary end works. 
Anna Lee hanging out with you on this Sunday afternoon. I'm excited about the tunes I've got to play for you this hour. A lot of cool stuff coming up with WMOT that I'm Now we're going to run our Bluetooth in, show you how that works. It'll take multiple devices. It'll always pick number one. So if you're the one who won't answer all the phone calls and play with the phone, that's the one you want to do first. This push button comes with it. You can use it to pair up your phone or you can use the volume knob. All this works with this, and I'll demonstrate for you. We're going to pair it up with the volume knob. We're going to let our apples out. Let's pair it up. Hold this down. Bluetooth ready to pair. Showed up on our phone. All we got to do is tap on it. She'll tell us when it's done. Mr. Toron, old man. Go away. Pairing completed. Bluetooth connected. All right, now we're connected up. You're asking me for more. All right, let's do a voice command. You get two mics, one that's extendable. Plug it in where it says mic over here. In case your car's a little bit loud or, you know, you want to get the mic closer to you, you have a built-in one right here in behind here. And these work very well, so you can try it either way. We're going to do a voice command. Now, I, I paired up with this. I can hold this down and bring my phone up and say, call home, look for a restaurant, whatever, want to play music. We can also do it with the volume knob. Let's go up twice on it. Play music. Going to music on my phone. You want to advance your songs, you can use this, the this, or this. One time we'll advance. Or I can hit it twice to back up a repeat, depends on how long you're into the song. Repeat, twice, go back again. I can also use this. Turn it up, turn your needle back. You can even use your push buttons, as long as that needle moves up or back, you can operate your phone and the USB song. All right. Let's go back to radio. We're gonna, we can hold this down, bring it up. Let's do it with volume now. Go up twice. Stop music. Put it in pause. Now it's going to go right to radio. Now a phone call comes in. It'll override whatever you got the radio doing. You ain't got to worry about nothing about missing a call, even a text. It'll let you know that you get your normal sound. Uh, when a phone call comes in, she'll she'll come on there and say incoming call. You'll hear it ring. You can turn this up one click to answer your call. Push this one time to answer your call. Answer it. Talk. When you're done, you can let the phone hang up on its own. It'll go back to doing whatever you had it doing. End the call twice here or turn this back down to end the call. That's how that works. Now we're going to turn this off a second. We're going to make sure... Because you shouldn't have to pair it up but once. It'll take multiple devices. It'll always pick number one. We're going to make sure that it picks this phone right back up when I turn it back on. Well, it's that way when you get in your car, it does this. Bluetooth connected. There we are. That's pretty neat. All right. Let's do the USB. A lot of people, you can hide these. Comes in a round deal or you can use this bracket. And you don't have to do it because you can operate it off from right here. So you can hide it the only time you got to take this out if you want to charge the phone or device. Stick it in. Go straight to it. Advance. Advance. Back up. Now, if we want to go to pause and back to radio, you got two ways of doing it. When we went up here twice to do our phone, we'd go down twice to put it in pause or hold this down one second. Back in pause, just cycle back around, go back to radio. We can also bring it back up with the volume knobs, which is what I'm going to do right here as soon as it goes back to back on radio. Turn it down twice. The Paris Lexington. Back to thumb drive. Now that we're in that mode, we're going to show you how to work your uh, 
fader in balance. That's wide open treble. That's bass. Just go back about halfway and let's go clockwise twice. We're gonna put it in the fader mode. That way we can fade from front to rear. Fader adjust. As she says that, as long as you're moving this, it'll go from front speakers to rear. All right, let's balance it out. Let her set it. Fader set. Now we're back on treble and bass. Let's go back to that mode. Let's go counterclockwise. Oh. Just. There's balance. Right side, left side. I mean, left side, right side. Balance it out, let her set it. Balance set. I had to get the motion down right. Now we're back on treble and bass. That's how to set up your four speakers. Balance them. Play. Once you get it back there where you want it, all you gotta worry about is treble and bass. Pause, down twice, put it in pause, right back to radio. That's your original 1967 Nova Chevy 2 AM radio with a full roar design in it. Got the original background light. It'll look good. I uh, appreciate you letting me do it for you. Thank you.